Yo, what's up? We're live. Thank you for stopping by. Uh, your time is valuable to me. Thank you. It means a lot that you stopped by. If you're new here, make sure you smash the like button, subscribe uh, to the channel. I drop uh, value like this daily. I'm going to keep this short. I know you guys do know I kind of get long-winded. I'm going to keep this one short, and I'm just going to give you my story, right? My reason um, for locking arms with this amazing company uh, and why I did it, why I decided to do it, and how it can benefit you, okay? I'm just going to pick one slide out of here uh, right now. I'm going to pick one slide to just ex explain some things to you. And uh, I might do this, you know, if you like this kind of stuff, I may just pick like random slides. But if you want to see the whole thing, right, I may throw a card um, in, the, in this video or definitely it will be linked in the description um, and all the other links you can find in the description. So what? Well, now let's get to it, right? So a little bit about me. I started my credit journey a little bit over, and I'm, I'm fired up, guys. So if I'm speaking fast, I do apologize, but I'm super fired up about this um, opportunity. Not just uh, like, hey, this is an opportunity, let's get fired up, but I'm really passionate about this um, stuff, as you will see, right? So <clears throat> if I'm talking fast or it's hard to understand me, um, I like to be on camera so that way you can see my passion and uh, my excitement level, right? Because I believe that that's contagious. So I hope you get excited. Hope you're fired up. Hope your day is going great. Right. Uh, if it's not, uh, remember you are in control of your whole environment. Okay. You can you you change you can change that at any time. Right. So um, with that said, a little bit about me. Right. My credit journey got started in 2012 ish. Right. Uh, I was working a nine to five job, just maybe like you are. I worked a nine to five job. I was about 23 years old. Uh, I got some notes here. Let me see. I was about 20. Yeah, about 23 years old. Okay, 2012, and. Uh, I was working a 95 job. It was my second job, I believe. Uh, and it was, I was working for the government, not the government, but like a government entity, uh, the, uh, the city that I live in, I was working for them. So they're local government, right? Um, and it all got started because I don't know if you guys can see, but I do volunteer uh, my life to protect and save other people's lives and property. And I've been doing it for the past nine years, right? And and reason why I say that, because it, it adds relevance to the story, because um, this is where it all started at for me, because I was up there at the firehouse, and one of the guys had uh, pulled me off to the side and pretty much just, like, <clears throat> changed my whole world for me, right? And what he did was he, he, he sat down nonchalantly, right? We sat on the back of the truck, um, and he was like, look, uh, Phelps, that's what the guys call me in my last name. He's like, look, Phelps, uh, you work a nine to five job and there's no reason for you to be driving this old busted raggedy old car truck that you were driving. Um, and what I pretty much told him was some lies that we're all meant to believe. We're all meant to, uh, our parents taught us that, you know, the schooling system taught us that, the our world or environment taught us that, right? Uh, if it's too good to be true, um, then it's, it's not Anything that sounds good can be true. And, and all these myths and, and, and lies, right, um, that we are programmed to believe. And that's what we believe. And I told him, I pretty much sat there and told him, I said, well, uh, I don't have a, uh, my credit score is not good, right, because I got two credit cards from Capital One. And I lost my job at the time, and I didn't pay them off. So, of course, they went to collections. And so it had the charge-offs and the collections on my account. Uh, and this is a whole bunch of crap, right? that it was irrelevant. So pretty much what he did, right, was like, all right, look, I understand that you got these things and this is what we're gonna do, is I'm gonna add you to my credit card. And I was like, wait, like I already got two charge offs. I don't want like another one. I knew, I guess I knew that much about credit, right? Um, and pretty much what he said was a whole bunch of what, and the next part that he said came across to me completely Spanish, right? Like an, a different language that I don't understand. Um, he's out. He said, I'm going to add you to my American Express card. We're going to wait 30 days, and then we're going to go back to the dealership, and we're going to try again, right? And I'm like, okay, whatever, right? Like, if you say and you feel so confident about this and you think that it's going to work, then let's just do it, right? So waited about 30 days, and, sh and sure enough, right, I went down. He took me to his guy down at the dealership, and, uh, you know, everybody has that guy, right, at the dealership, and I applied for a, um, to get a truck, right, and of course, it, my credit was better, but I still needed a co-signer, right, so me and my mom co-signed for my first truck deal, brand new 2012 Ram uh, 1500 quad cab, but it was still mine, it was still new, and it was two-wheel drive, okay, brand new, first new vehicle ever, and that is when it all changed for me, um, because I was like, okay, wait, 
what has happened after everything has settled down and all the like excitement of a new car settled down, right? Uh, I was like, okay, wait, what happened here? Because I'm the type of person in my life that uh, if you give me an inch, right, I'm gonna make a mile out of it. If you give, if you crack the door, I gotta kick it open because I'm just not that type of person that's just gonna ease in, right? I'm just gonna like, boom, jump in, jump in there. So I'm like, okay, what just happened? So I went back and analyzed everything that just happened uh, in that whole transaction, right? I was like, okay, so he added me to his credit, his credit card. I'm like, okay, so I guess I got the payment history. I'm just guessing, right? So long story short, right? Long story short, I've come. And I've done this transaction 10 times from 2012 to 2015 or 16, uh, 10 vehicles I purchased, um, from 2012 to 2016, right? So bought one, traded in, bought one, traded in, bought one, traded in, bought one, traded in, right? Um, did that 10 times. Now you're like, dude, like your interest rates are blown out the roof, right? Let me show you something from 2000. And, uh, let me show you something from 2015. And these are some some of the emails that you get, right? And this is just three. Like I said, I did it three times. And this is some of the emails that you get. It's, uh, it's a small sample, right? Of some of the emails that you get. Four point, you can see the one on the left. I don't know if you guys can see that. I don't know if I, oh, I can make it bigger. Uh, 4.98%, 4.99% and uh, <clears throat> 8.75%. Now, I don't know if I took that deal for 8.75%, but it's just an example, right? And even if I did, I'm that's still beating some of you guys' um, first time loan applications. Remember, I've done this 10 times. At 2015, I've done it eight times, right? Because I stopped in 2016. So, and I have two of the vehicles now that from, are from that 10, my wife's vehicle and mine. So, um, still, right? I know people that they go out and get their first loan deal that it's higher than 8.75%, okay? So, like I said, I did this, um, 10 times and here's some of the, the emails that you get right once you get that you fill out your loan application and you submit it and stuff like that and the emails that you get right still 4.98 percent 4.99 percent okay after doing it for eight times you can see uh the interest rates and now you can see what what it says there it says uh fifty thousand right fifty up to fifty thousand dollars what that means is for you guys who don't know who haven't seen um this before is what that what what the what the bank is telling me and the the um, uh, car dealership is that this my customer me is qualified up to fifty thousand dollars to buy any vehicle on your lot, right? Any vehicle on a lot I can buy up to fifty thousand dollars. Tax, title, license, gap insurance, everything, right? Everything's included. Uh, now, if you like, like I said, subscribe to the channel. Make sure you hit that bell notification so you know when I do post videos. But now, what I've learned from doing this so many times is like, I, I'm here in Texas, right? And it's super hot down here in Texas. And if you don't have tent in your vehicle, like you're cooking, you're inside and you're going to be cooking yourself, even with the AC on max, right? You're cooking everybody <laughs> in the car. You got to have tent, right? Um, and I would, used to pay for that after the deal, right? So I would pay for the, the vehicle and then I would go to a tent shop local and get my tent done. Uh, I learned that you can get this stuff included into your deal. If you ever bought a car, at least the, the, at the dealership that I bought from, the, the two or three dealerships that I buy from, there's a little piece of paper, a little square sheet of paper, like yay big, right? It's a, a photocopy paper. Uh, and it says what we owe or, or big letters at the top. I don't, can't exactly remember what it says, but it'll have um, what they owe you, right? So if you got any extras included into your deal, they'll be there. And on my sheets of paper, after I figured this out, it always said window tent. Um, and sometimes it said like weather tech format or something like that. It's always something extra. I always get something extra and I always get a hat and a t-shirt and, and like free or random items. I don't know what it is. It just makes me feel better. Right. Um, I was like, I want a hat, right? I want a t-shirt. I want a pin on a cup coffee cup, right? I always get extras, right? Um, and this is the type of stuff that I will teach you guys how to get that into your deal. So you're not paying because most of the times, like my car salesman, right? Um, he has a, like an affiliate uh, relationship with the local tent shop. So I would get that into the deal, right? So the dealership pays for the tent. Only thing I have to do is go down to the tent shop and get the tent put on, right? Or if you want uh, wheels and tires, if you want uh, side steps, if you want 
um, whatever you want, extra, right? Uh, floor mats, they'll order them. They, when they get them in, they'll put them in. Seat covers, uh, I'm trying to think, what else? Uh, bed liners, bed covers, uh, toolboxes, uh, 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 fifth wheel hitches, um, anything extra, right, that you can think of that they may have, right? They got somebody or the company, the dealership, right? Like Chrysler, for my example, has it, right? And you want to get that into And this is all the stuff that I can give you guys, all the training and stuff that I have in my head, right? Just trying to add the more value um, to you guys' life that you can get this. And you, some of you guys may not have even known that, um, that you can get these type, these type of deals in your loans. And you can, right? Um, so that way you're not paying. Because if I go get my tent done myself, uh, I pay... In my deals, a hundred bucks. Probably get my ten down myself is like two fifty or two hundred bucks, right? Um, so, and that's and that's all four windows, including the back, right? And I usually get fifteen up front, five and all the way around, right? Uh, to be legal in my state. So, um, you can get exhaust, you can get mufflers, you can get whatever you want, right? But you have to negotiate that, and it's a part of negotiating your deal, right? When you buy auto. Uh, cars or trucks right um motorcycles or whatever um it's about negotiating I, and I, I the best way that i can describe it to you is if you're good at paying poker you got a good poker face right then you'll be good at buying cars and willing and dealing like me okay um now like i said this is one of the this is your ace in the hole right here right because listen to me guys never ever right ever 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 again after watching this video right ever go buy a car, go buy a house or any big purchase without having the money to buy the purchase in the first place, right? That's very important that I've learned, right? That's helped me negotiate my deals is because I already had the money in my email inbox to purchase what I was already looking for. Does that make sense? I didn't go to them and start waving the check in the air because that's stupid and don't do that. I I, I know as a, when I first seen this in my in inbox, I was like 50 grand, right? Uh, like I said, I was uh, my first time I did this, I was 23 years old, right? I was like 23 years old and I got 50 grand. Shoot, I'm telling the world, put it on Facebook, Snapchat, Instagram. Don't do none of that. Shut your mouth. Don't tell your wife. Don't tell your husband. Don't tell your kids. Shut your mouth. Another tip. Don't take your spouse with you. Leave the husband at home. Wife's uh, uh, wives leave the husband at home. Husbands leave the wives at home. Separate them, right? Because you're you're going to buy this deal. Because most of the times, what you do, right? You're going to buy a deal, you buy a car or an auto or whatever house, even right? Everything, right? You're going to buy it, and you're going to buy it based on emotion. After you bought it, you're going to back it by logic because you're going to try to make it make sense to you. Like, oh, I bought this for, right? And it's going to help them for or with right that's not how you want to do this right because look you're paying if i don't want you guys to do what i do right um i want you to get a vehicle that that's going to get you from point a to point b i want you to get a vehicle that's um that you can use to transport your kids from your house to school i want you to get a vehicle that you can go on vacations and trips uh, and visit the country right if that's what you choose to do a reliable vehicle instead of riding around in an old putt putt right <laughs> that's what we used to call it back in the day um and uh, that, that's the reason why, um, that's, that's the main reason why I want to, so you can have that, like, look, just because right, I got this stuff, right, doesn't necessarily mean that you can't do this. Maybe you've been buying vehicles wrong. But anyway, like I was saying, leave one at the house, right? That's part of the, the my training. Just look, just leave one at the house. I, I give you this one. I give you this one just because you're here and you're watching the video. I give you this one. You leave one at the house, right? I typically, me, uh, I learned this like from the guy who took me to see his guy, right? Uh, I leave one at the house, my wife at the house, and uh, I'll get upset about something. Irritated, mad, furious about something. That way I know, because I'm the type of person, right, um, that a good salesman can sell me ice. Now, if I was an Eskimo, if I was a snail, I'll eat salt, right? I'm the type of person. So I knew that I had to get my mindset right before I went down here to make this deal. And I knew this is a poker game. This is a business, right? This is not like I can't go down there and say, hey, I'm desperate for a vehicle. Like, I really need to get to work. I really want this vehicle because once they got you, it's a wrap, right? Once they, This is how to get you, right? Hey, right? I know you. I, I, I know. Right? I'm going to sell you a vehicle without even at the dealership. Watch this. Um, you found your dream car, right? Imagine it's in your head. You got the dream car in your mind, right? You and your wife are there. Right. 
Uh, you got your kids there with you. You got your dream truck, your dream car with you right now. Uh, you're standing in front of it. Got the right color, the right wheels, the right tires. It's perfect for you, right? Um, and you're like, you can afford it, but you'll have to, you have to squeeze it, right? Squeeze it in there, right? Just, just imagine with me right now. You have to squeeze it in there, right? Now, me as a salesman, this is what I'm going to do, and I guarantee you I'm going to sell you the next day because I'm tell you, I'm going to give you the keys. Boom. Now you got the keys. You're looking at this key fob. Where's my keys? You're looking at this key fob, right? Brand new car. You get into it. You and your wife and the kids, you look and you see how your kids are sitting in the back seat, right? They're playing with everything. Your wife's got the, uh, the AC and stuff adjusted, right? Um, they get the radio stations tuned. Everything's right, right? And, and it's not even yours, but you're imagining in your mind that it's yours, right? And the salesman is over there eating it up. And what you're going to do, what he sell, tells you to do is go ahead and take it home for tonight. Bring it back in the morning. We'll, we'll finish it up tomorrow. It's a wrap. They got you already because now you see it in your driveway. Now you see it at your house, what it looks like in your driveway. Now you see now you see your, your parents. I mean, not your parents, but your neighbors and stuff looking at you, right? And everybody's giving you compliments on this vehicle. That's not, they got you, right? Don't worry, right? With me in your back pocket, right? That's not going to happen. They say they're taking it home. No, that's okay. Because you already made your decision of if you're going to buy this vehicle or not before you even stepped on to the dealership lot. So the sales tactics is not gonna work for you, right? I just wanna I just wanna let you know that I'm giving you value right now. If you like this, smash that like button, right? Subscribe to the channel, hit that bell notification so you know when I go uh, either live or post more videos, okay? Now, on the other side of these emails, that was, that was a side note, right? I, I know what I'm talking about, right? Um, on the other side of these emails, these, these 50 grand right here, this is what the blank checks that you get. And this is where I wanna get you guys. And of course, now I redacted most of my information because some of you guys is nuts. Right. Um, so uh, I redacted most of my information, but I just want to show you, like I said, this is just a, um, a small sample of the 10 that I've done. Now, on this, um, I should have, whatever, you can see the information there, right? Me and my wife. Okay. Now, um, yeah. So anyway, I uh, redact redacted most of my information. Wow. Most of my information, right? Fired up over here. Um, and this is what you get on the other side of your email that like from us, from USA, right? This is how their process works. Sometimes some banks, right? You walk in there and they give you a blank check, right? But this is the power that I want to give back to you guys. And this is why I partnered with, right? A company that restores your credit, get your finances in order. Now imagine that you got a company over here that's getting your finances in order, just getting your credit straight, right? For you. And now you have a mentor, a coach, and a guide, a spiritual leader on this side as me, right? That's going to teach you these type of things so you can get these deals, right? Um, that you want, right? It doesn't necessarily have to be with this bank or whatever, but any situation, I've helped countless people personally in my personal life accomplish the same goal, right? The same task. Okay. So, um, this is, this is, um, what you get and you can see, of course, that all the numbers are different until so they're all different checks, right? They're all mine, of course. Um, and what the only thing that you do have to do, right? And, 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 and side note, right? If you're a dealership or if you're a car salesman and you're watching this, um, I'm not even going to apologize for it. Right. Uh, I'm just going to flat out say it. Uh, well, thank you for what you do. Right. But I have to look out for the people. Um, now, at the end, you still make a sale, right? Got to look at that. You still make a sale. You still get the commission. But at, at, but I just feel, right, that there's a part to this industry or this game, right, that we should know. Now, what that means is what I just told all the car salesmen that watch this video is, is when you present this at the end of your deal or your negotiation, right, m some of their commission goes out the window, especially your uh, your uh all your loan officers um, and up. Right. Most of their commission goes out the window because once you do this, like gap insurance, they make a commission. <clears throat> Extended coverage protection plans, they make a commission. Right. On a back end. Right. They made already made a commission on selling you the car. Now they can make a commission off selling you some gap insurance that you don't need. Um, well, you need gap insurance, but not that much money. And you can buy it with this. Like my gap insurance with USAA is like 225, 214. Gap insurance through the dealership or through the 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 lender was like eight hundred bucks. Right. Now, um, it was, it's crazy, right? Um, anyway, so they make, they make commissions off these little things that you buy at the closing table, right? They don't tell you that, but they do. And they, and this that's what I said. If once you have this in your pocket, once you have this in your email, right? Shut your mouth. You already won, right? You already got it. 
You ain't got to worry about stop sweating, stop stressing, right? Get, all you need to do once you get this process done is get your year making model and a color that you want and go down to your dealership, right? You can do what I do or you can have your own tactics or whatever. I usually get upset because I'm not going to take no BS from the salesman selling me some salesman sales line, right? Like come in, drink the water, eat the donuts, right? Like, no, I don't want none of that. I come down here for a vehicle. This is business. I come down here for a vehicle. I left all, and, and another tip, reason why I said leave the spouse at home, because if you have a deal, right, your spouse has not been exposed to the elements in that environment. So now you can say, hey, I need you to come down here and look at this. Or you take the paperwork home to them and say, look at this, especially if, they, if, they're, if they're a numbers person, right? Like my wife is, she's a numbers person. I was like, hey, can we make this work in a budget? She said yes or no. She has no emotional attachment to the vehicle at all. Right? None. Zero. So she doesn't care if you win or lose or if you get it or not. Right? Can we make this this payment work or not? Yes or no? D what does the vehicle look like? None of that. Can we make this work? Yes or no? Yes? Okay. Good. No? Okay. Next. Find, go look for another one. Boom. No emotional. But if, there, if you take both of them with you, right? Husband and a wife, right? Or, or wife and wife or husband and husband, however you want to work your situation out, um, then there's nobody to ask. Right. And I mean, you ask like your parents, or whatever, but like, you, it's, I guess that's weird to me. Um, that's why I leave a wife at home. Or if you're single, like have your best friend do it. Right. Or somebody that you know, that's a numbers guy or a numbers person. Right. Uh, best friend, close friend, uh, boss, right. At your job or somebody that you know, that you trust that, Hey, look, this is the numbers that I got. You think it could work or not? Let me know. Boom. Done. Right. They'll say, yes, I, I can see it working or no, like you can afford that. It's stupid. Don't do that. Done. Look for another one, right? That's why you leave one at home. Now, back to this. So, this is the power that I want to give you guys, right? So, um, if you haven't experienced this, it is a remarkable feeling, okay? Um, so, just, just real quick. I'm going to go real, real, real quick slides, right? Um, give me one second. Oops. One second, one second. I hate being disturbed. Okay, real quick. All right, so here it is. Um, here's some numbers, right? Uh, the reason why I'm showing you this graph is because my current interest rates right now are 6% and 5%. Okay, um, and like I said, I've done this 10 times. So number eight and number, I mean, sorry, number nine and number 10 are six and 5%, right? Just to show you what the years in the graph. There's a reason why the red lines are here. Okay, and if you look at the bottom, just by this graph, and you can see that, with the graph, you can verify this information if you go to valuepenguin.com. Um, and these are historical loan rate averages, right? So um, coming down here to the bottom, we can say by this graph, because of course I can't show you my information, um, credit reports and stuff like that, right? Due to come to policies and stuff. But we can say by this um, that my uh, credit score was between a 519 and a 660. Now I'm telling you it was a lot higher than that. but but like I said, I just had to have some illustration purposes for you guys. Uh, 719 to 660, okay? Uh, let's see. Now, I did buy a house in 2016. That's the reason why I stopped. My wife got deployed to Afghanistan. Uh, spent seven months in Afghanistan for United States Air Force. United States Air Force, right? Um, and during that time, I purchased her or us a house, right? During that time. Now, I was 27, at the time, 27 years old, purchased my first house. Now, complete transparency, we did use the VA loan, so we did zero money down, right? But let me show you. I'm a, I took a screenshot of my back office, and there it is. Screenshot of my back office. Um, I purchased this house in 2016, okay? Now, I've already purchased 10 vehicles, 11 if you count the car that I had, right? Um, and look at the interest rate, 3.625%. Now, of course, I redacted my address because I want you guys showing up to my house, right, and a loan number. But everything else you can see, everything else is trying to be as transparent as it possibly can so you know who you're working with, right? There's a 3.625% interest rate on a house at 27 years old, my first house, right? I want you to show me somebody else that's 27 years old. I My house cost me $185,000, right? $180,000 for the house. Uh, I mortgaged in the cost of the VA loan, right? The five or 4,000 that you got to use. Anybody use VA um, understands what I, what I mean, right? So $185,000. We have the cheapest house on the block. I'm not going to lie to you. 
all the houses around us 200 from 190,000 to, to, to $300,000. Um, of course, I live in a good neighborhood, right? But I'm the youngest person in my neighborhood, youngest homeowner in my neighborhood, right? Um, and you ask my, all my friends ask me, how do you, how do you do it? Right? How, how, how in the world, right? Uh, even at this time when I did this, I applied for this, this is my first loan I ever applied for, for a house. I got approved, right? It was a surprise house for my wife while she was deployed. She came back home. She had a brand new house. Everything was cleaned, moved in and ready to rock. Uh, we were previously staying with my mom at the time, right? And this is, this is, this is the interest rate that I got. I want you to show me or tell me somebody else that got the same interest rate at the same time, right? The same circumstances. Like I said, I don't, I just want to press upon you, the, the person that you have right now, right? Um, in front of you and the knowledge that I have in my head and, and the willpower to help you um, get these things for yourself, right? That's at the end of the day, that's what it's about. Because joy cannot be purchased, right? And that's what I run on. That's what I live on. That's why I do this 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 volunteering job, right? Um, but I'm getting paid as a, a dime, right? Um, that's why I do it because it's joy that I see and I receive from random people walking up to me in random spots. Like, hey, my wife hates it. She's like, they're like, hey, you know, thanks for saving. Thanks for, I seen you. I was like, I'm like, oh my God. They, they, I'm like, uh, because I don't remember the name. It, to me, it's not about that, right? I'm like, oh, okay. I was there. I remember that the fire or the accident or whatever, right? I don't remember their names. But it's about the joy for me, right? And that's why I'm gonna for you guys the joy, like hey, right? Like look what I got. Send me a little screenshot, you know, from your house or whatever, right? Um, this is what I got. This is this is what happened. This is what, um, you know, uh, uh, this a testimonial from you, because uh, that right there it just fires me up, and that's why I'm fired up that you're here right now, uh, and you're watching this information. Now, real quick, I'm gonna give you some some knowledge that you can take with you, right? That you can take with you. I'm gonna give you something that that, that um, excuse me, that, uh, uh, you can grow on right now. One thing that, uh, you have to know, right. That is the biggest, um, misconception out there in this industry is, uh, if I have more credit cards or more, uh, lines of credit, then my credit score is better. Now by this chart, you can see that 35% is your payment history, right? So, how many of you guys know that, right? Let me know in the comments. How many guys knew that your payment history was the biggest portion of your credit score calculated, right? If you didn't know, now you know. So if you have late payments, that's why it's the reason why it's important to pay your stuff on time, right? And if you have late payments, I can help you. We can get those late payments removed, right? Or updated to show paid as agreed, right? Through my company, my services. Um, that's one reason why, right, I, I make these videos and I want to say, hey, like, look, um, because some people don't know, like, hey, I'm going to get credit cards. I want to get uh, lines of credit or I want to get different types of loans, installment loans or personal loans or whatever, right, to make my credit score go up. I'm trying to give you, right, um, the resources that, hey, I have a company here that will do this stuff for you, right, and also educate you and your family and your loved ones at the same time, right? So no one can ever say or do anything to you after you get done with this whole process, right? Uh, 35%, remember that payment history is 35%. And also if you've been renting a house or renting a, a, a condo, apartment, uh, uh, let's say house, a trash can, a cardboard box, a park bench, uh, anything, right? Paying somebody rent, we can get that added on. Up to two years, paid as agreed, right? We have our product, of course it's not included, right? Um, disclaimer, it's not included in the, uh, the, the products and services, it is a uh, so separately product, but we still have it. We can get your rent added on to your credit as we're fixing it for you, right? If that's what you feel that you want to increase, right? 35% to increase that number. If you need more accounts that say paid as agreed or show positive payment history, because you don't have a lot of accounts, if you've been renting, we can use that account. With that. You see what I'm saying? This is it's resources and tools, right? So if you haven't rented, like I've never rented before, so I don't benefit from that product. I, it's not a bad thing, I guess. I was never rented before, so me buying that product is, is useless. Um, but maybe some of you have rented and it's not showing or reflecting on your credit report, right? So I just want to drop that, that value bomb for you today. Uh, I hope you're having a wonderful day. Let me pull my screen back up. 
I hope you're having a wonderful day. Uh, I hope your day is going well. If I did give you value, if I did provide value to your life to show you a little bit of my, my story, why I partnered with uh, Financial Education Services, what I can offer to you um, as a customer or an agent. Uh, we do have, uh, if, you, if you are interested in being an agent or customer, both, right? Our, like I said, the links are in the description below. Uh, you can find them in the description and uh, you become a customer. I'll be glad to help you. We're, we're I'm open arms to every, anybody and everybody. Uh, if you just, my, my number's down there, you can text credit repair, right? Um, we can spark up a conversation. Uh, whatever it is, right? Student loans, if you got uh, medical bills, if you got collections, bankruptcies, um, late payments, uh, charge offs, short sales, right? Like I said, this whole webinar is done better um, by my um, coach, and I'll link that in the description, right? Uh, you can watch that. Feel free to watch that. Like I said, if you do want to connect with me, you want to me to mentor you in, in this journey, and you can see that that's just a little bit. I know a whole bunch up here, like credit hacking, traveling for free. Um, let's see. Um, cars, houses, right? How to do the car, the whole car deal from, from scratch to zero. I mean, scratch to hero, right? How to do the whole car deal. Um, uh Carl's husband is like, dude, don't tell him that. <laughs> especially, especially if my friend watches this. She's like, dude, don't tell him that. Right. Um, what else? Adding uh, credit lines. Locking up your credit report after all this is done. Right. Some people don't know. Uh, lock up your credit report so nobody can do inquiries on you no more. Nobody can look. You know, you can't get those, those spam emails or not emails. Mail in the mail. off Because once you go through this process, everybody's going to want you. Right. Like back then, they didn't want you. Now you're hot, right? Like they're gonna, they're gonna, you're gonna get all these in your email. Uh, yeah, email and your mailbox, right? You're gonna get them. Uh, hey, sign up for my credit card. Sign up for this. Sign up for that. Sign up for this. Sign up for that. Sign up for this. All right? You lock down your credit report, right? So they're not, because they're selling your information. They're making money off of you, right? Right now. Me, you, everybody. That's not, they're, they're, if their direct account's not unlocked, right? Um, with a letter sent to the actual, uh, place and, and and i'm not talking about the transunion transunion equifax or experience i'm talking there's, there's like two or three other um credit bureaus that some people don't know about right and they got your information and they're selling it and they're making money off of you right and if we have i have personal letters um that we can give to you you send it to them lock it down shh your mouth right lock it down don't sell my information stop getting emails stop getting that uh post mail those ads or whatever I got a lot of value that I can give you guys, right? I can stay here forever. Clearly, you can see my face, right? We're in my house, my room, my office, right? Um, you see my passion that I am. Subscribe to the channel. Smash those links. I see you on the inside, guys. Or on the next one. Thanks. Bye.